guys. Um, so I am here making another reaction video, which I haven't made a reaction video in a really long time. I have a special guest with me. This is my small puppy. This is Pippin. He's my toy poodle. And he is so cute. Just look at him. <laughs> um, but we are making a reaction today, a reaction video today. Uh, with Jesse's video that he posted earlier calling surprising my girlfriend with a puppy and um, I knew he was gonna upload this day because he uh, had let me know last night and I was so excited um, so I knew this was coming but obviously I've not watched it yet so I thought I'd do a reaction video to it since as you guys know I'm in it <laughs> um, so yeah let's go again and get started <laughs> Aww, you're cute. Aww. Who's that? I think it's safe to say that 2020 was a pretty dark year for everyone. However, for me personally... I love that shirt. I want that shirt, by the way. I'm a big Jenny fan. I had a light. And that light was Jenny. <laughs> Shy. Oh, look Hi. who's that. You never got to meet her. I swear I'm not a dog mom. We have a shirt made for it. <laughs> Guys, I realize as far as everyone knows, Jenny came through a mirror and is Isaac's dog, but yeah, you can't pull animals through mirrors. That's not possible. I feel like I gotta spell that out for some people. Wow. But not a lot of people know the real story of how I got Jenny, which honestly, it, it deserves its own video because it's pretty insane. I don't even know if Jenny knows how I got her because it was a <laughs> whirlwind. We're gonna start from the very beginning, guys. Since I was a kid, I have always had dogs. I had a beagle named Betsy had like a what was it, like a cocker spaniel named harry Aww. i mean they aren't my dogs but it's like the family dog so it's as close as you're gonna get especially when you're a kid we had a whole set of labs we had uh barney and fred freaking named after flintstones characters and then we had the set of dogs that you guys became more familiar with and that's ella luna and john now growing up with dogs it's like you're always accustomed to them you're used to like giving them table scraps or just like cuddling together. And I'm sure you guys probably know this, but I have a golden doodle that I named after Ella. Um, his Ella. So I have a golden doodle named Ella. And she <laughs> is kind of funny because she's very much like how Ella is his Ella or how Ella was, I mean. They're hanging out or watching TV. So when you all of a sudden don't have a dog, it starts to feel a little weird. And it seems like if you grew up with dogs, you're probably eventually going to have a dog of your own. So growing up with them was like a huge impetus. But actually, for me and my story, <laughs> I've actually never had dogs. And I think that's probably why I have so many now is because I've never had any. I wasn't allowed to have dogs growing up. Uh, my mom didn't think I would you know be responsible enough because dogs are like a lot of work and uh she just didn't want she didn't want to have to deal with that so we always had everything other than dogs yeah cats um gerbils bunch of rodents birds um rabbits guinea pigs like we had a ton of pets growing up but never had any dogs so yeah now i have a ton of dogs and two cats um but i don't have any rodents or anything like that so yeah that's my life now I me getting a dog. However, it was really Ella. Ella was such a special dog to me. It was technically Jeffrey's dog. However, more often than not, pretty much every day for a solid few years, my parents would both go to work and Jeffrey would go to work as well. Oh, I was basically days. having a babysit all three dogs. We'd be like filming videos, doing random crap, just playing around. And I developed a really, really close relationship with Ella. Yeah, you guys Ella. probably know her from old videos of mine. She was like one of my very first actresses. She was great to work with, by the way. Believe or not and she just had a vibe about her that was like super comfortable it's a little overweight but hey those are the best dogs there's more to watch yeah, my, <laughs> my um <laughs> my ella is overweight too and she's wide and it's like just like how is, as ella was oh, right we just kind of became best friends and that's that's what a dog is it's man's best friend Unfortunately, the good times don't last forever, and in 2018, she got all these cancerous tumors and died literally like that. Mm. Yeah, I understand. I just snapped, but this is, it's, mm. it's just, I just snapped my fingers, all right? We're out of this. <laughs> no more series going on, all right? Watching Ella get put down after such a long relationship with her really kind of gutted me and then kind of just closed me off to like dogs in general. I'm like, this is miserable. It was as close to Marley and me as you could possibly I've get. Never seen that you know, movie, when you watch actually. a dog get put down, something so innocent and pure, and then you just see them go lifeless. It's just traumatizing. 
and that ish has haunted me in the 2019 and in 2020. I mean, it's you never forget it, right? But Ella was only 10 years old. She definitely had a few more years left in her, so it's pretty unfortunate what happened. And what happened in 2019 was, as you guys know, I, I moved out of my parents' house, so I no longer had any dogs. I moved in here, and to be honest, it was generally pretty lonely. You know, Jeffrey came through. Uh, we had Scamp in the house. Jeffrey, you know, had the kind of had the really kind of replace Ella to some capacity or fill the void. So he got Scamp. Scamp was great, don't get me wrong. But once I got my own place, I was like, I don't want the dog hair everywhere. Mm, so yeah. Keep her over there. I barely saw her much. She's quirky, like in a funny way. It's interesting. The dog personalities are just like people. Like there's just different energy. Scamp's got a great energy to her. But there was something that just like Ella had that was hard to replicate. So 2019, 2020, I'm just kind of going through the motions, you know. Videos are coming, but it gets it gets lonely here, right? And I miss that connection and that dog connection. So then all of a sudden the pandemic hits, right? And Ashley and I are dating. I'm like, yo, look, you should come over here and we quarantine together. You know, it was like the mm -hmm. new Netflix and shows. Like, yo, let's quarantine, right? <laughs> and so oh wow! Like, just let's have unlimited sleepovers, right? You're you're graduating college. Just come over and just sleep over every night. She was like, well, look, if I'm gonna do that, I gotta bring my dog Mason. Now, I had met Mason uh, only a small handful of times, and oh, generally I was so always. Mason, and this is somebody so because of Mason, gotta thank Mason. That's how we have Jenny. It opened his heart. It softened his heart. That's so sweet. Growing up with big dogs most of their life, the small dogs I always judged like a lot. I was like, that's a yappy dog. That's how I that's am. A, that's like a little poodle yeah. mutt. <laughs> yeah. I don't want don't no little dog. A Mason for a littler breed is a fat. Like, he is a big <laughs> dog. So I was like, I was like, look, if you gotta bring him, it's whatever. Maybe it'll be funny. Maybe we can get him in some videos, whatever. Little did I know, Mason's a savage. And I, I don't mean that in like, he like gets around and he's crazy or whatever. He's like savage in a good way in the sense like, he does nothing. Oh, <laughs> he okay. He eats like three bowls of food, drinks bowls and bowls of water like a camel. And he just lays around and does nothing. But you nice. can tell he's got a heart of gold. Aww. What I didn't anticipate was Mason brought such Ella vibes into the house and back into oh, my heart and he I did. fell in love with him. Me and Mason got along famously. It's like we had known each other for a lifetime. It was great. Mason Aww. fit right in here, super comfortable on videos, and Mason was great. It was like, it was always meant Mason to be. Like then something lot. pretty Aww. tragic happened. Ashley's other dog that was still um. staying at the parents' house, Bailey, freak thing happened. Have no idea what caused it, even the doctors didn't know. Bailey somehow started suffering from this like anemia or some blood related disease. And her body was like rejecting her blood or something. Mm. And we went to different doctors. I was like, yo, yo. I was like, oh, we got to pay to get the best treatment. We took her into Philly. We tried to do everything. We tried everything we could. And Aww. Bailey, only being a few years old, like pretty much, pretty much Jenny's age, passed away. Like suddenly, abruptly. It was pretty traumatizing, pretty sad. It was just up so it was like what is going on like how is there nothing good you know the doctors were baffled they didn't even know they were like there's nothing we can do i was like what how is this a thing yeah. and so we were all pretty rocked however it got my wheels spinning i'm like we need something good and mason was good <laughs> that was my like smooth brain logic was like mason we need good mason good we need another <laughs> mason so i realized after missing ella for so long mason filled the void but i was always jealous because mason was Ashley's dog. Yeah. I didn't know how long Ashley would be staying here. Turns out it's like semi-permanent. And I was like, dang, I kind of want what they have. Like Ashley's giving Aww. them a bath and like they're all cuddled up like BFF. And I'm like, I want like a little animal that like follows me. <laughs> It's probably the same thing with having a little human, a little version of yourself walking around. That's, That's what my he face is. of like, wait, Jesse, are you trying to say like kids? No, guys, guys, whoa, <laughs> one thing at a time here, right? Uh, I'm just talking <laughs> about fur babies, okay? So finally, I think it was time for this young man to get his first actual dog. Like the dog that he would call his own, that would call me master, reopen master. the deep wounds. Mason already reopened the wounds, right? So I'm like, I'm ready. We're about to embark on the Storyfire marketing push. I'm stressed to all hell. And I gotta say, honestly, maybe I should tell Jenny this, that thank you. <laughs> She's just like, what the f Thank you, Jenny, for existing. Cause I get like super stressed all the time and it's pretty miserable. And then like the Aww. grind is endless. You got the loneliness that I mentioned to where I'm like, you know what, F it. There's something about a dog like you that just simplifies everything and kind of removes like anxieties and stresses like, oh, she's a pain in the ass to like take care of, but for somebody high functioning like myself, or really anyone, I'm just like, 
Ah, oh, chill. It's like a, it's like innocence, right? It, it reminds me of being a kid. I'm like, oh, it's just, it ain't that serious. Uh, it reminds you to kind of like look at the little things or as Ella taught me to like stop and smell the roses. So I was like, you know what? Uh -huh. I'm finally ready. I'm getting a dog. Which is like a pretty big declaration because like longer term commitments like this, if it's not the only long term commitment I've ever been good at has been YouTube and that's it. Everything else I'm like, like a fart in the wind. The thought of like <laughs> having a dog was terrifying. I'm like, so I'm gonna have to watch them die. I'm gonna get emotionally oh, attached God. to them over 10, 15 years. They're gonna end up probably meeting like my future children. They're gonna be a family dog. They're gonna die in a miserable way. I'll be gutted. They'll never be able to be replaced. I'm gonna have to take care of them. I'm not gonna be able to travel. Oh, you got vet appointments, shots, all kinds of just mm -hmm. bull crap. I'm like, you know what? It's freaking quarantine. What the hell else am I doing? Ashley makes it look pretty easy and Mason makes it easy. So yeah, frick right. it. here's the kicker right here. I think the master breed is a Cabochon. For those who don't know, it's King Cavalier Spaniel mixed with a Bichon. A weird combination dogs. Reminds me of the uh, Dumb and Dumber joke that's like, what do you get when you cross a bulldog and a Shih Tzu? A oh. bull <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like cracking up. There's just so many weird breed combinations. I never heard of this one. I'm like, I don't know about that. But the cool thing is, they're super easily trainable. Very smart. They're lap dogs. And this was the game changer for me. They're non-shed. So whereas growing up and just in that Ridgeway house, I would have hair everywhere. Just caked over my entire body. I'd be doing insane in my bedroom. There'd be the hair coming off Ew. my face. I'd be breathing into my lungs. I'd be on, I'd be doing push-up position or like downward dog, ironically, and dog hair would be like flowing into my lungs. And I, I swear, there is a, like a pile of hair sitting. In oh, there. I gotta, I gotta deal with that here. I have golden retrievers and I breed golden doodles, which they don't shed. And I have a couple golden doodles myself, but I still have those golden retrievers and uh, there's just so much hair all the time. I mean, they don't always have hair all over the house, but they have their shedding seasons. And when that happens, there's just clumps of hair everywhere. And I have to just sweep constantly. I mean, I always sweep anyway, but like a few times a day, like I'm always sweeping. I always have the broom in my hand because there's just hair everywhere. And right now I'm dealing with that because it's shedding season. So that sucks. It really does suck. And the bottom of my lung, lung hole, but this, he doesn't shed either. Oh, yo, you're going back into the hub. We're going back. All right, she's calm. She's calm. Once I heard the non shed, I'm like, let's go. I immediately went on to Google. I was like, Cavachon puppies, where are they at? For whatever reason, Ohio is like the ultimate breeding grounds for puppies. But I clicked down into the Cavachon category, and there's nothing listed. There was like a few inbred dogs in there, and I'm like, nah. Inbred? <laughs> the princess. Actually, I didn't want a princess. I just wanted like a perfect dog. So I'm checking every day. I'm doing it. I don't know that Ashley was fully aware. I was like obsessively checking daily. I was like refreshing it like freaking YouTube analytics. And then all of a sudden this one dog pops up. I was looking for a very specific color scheme. I wanted white, black, and brown. I've, en I've envisioned it. I just want like a kind of a mutt looking like all kinds of cool colors and, and styles and whatnot. And I found her. I wanted a girl too. Cause a guy, girl, you want, that's the kind of relationship you want. And I, I found her. Her name was Lily. She's right here. Look at her. You gotta look for oh the Oh my eyes, gosh, right? yeah, that's right. I forgot the, the about that eye, one. That little bash. Oh yeah. She's got an innocent was, temperament. If you guys don't know, I helped him, and he probably talks about this later in the video, but I helped him look for this puppy. He reached out to me and asked me, you know, hey, since you're a breeder, can you help me try to find, you know, Cavachon? And so, uh, yeah, like, so we actually had... He actually had a deposit with another breeder in California because I didn't think that he would, you know, mind the travel. But I think he was kind of wanting something in Ohio just because it's, like, closer to him and I was here. It would be easier for him. Um, you know, we could just meet up. You know, I don't know. It just seemed easier for him to find a puppy in Ohio. So that's why he kind of kept gravitating towards Lancaster puppies, which is, you know, a lot of puppies in Pennsylvania and Ohio. Um, but he did have a deposit with a breeder in California, but that uh, he'd never found one that he liked. Um, but yes, I remember he did find this one first. He did find this one. I can't remember what happened. I guess he's going to say. Man, I want something sweet, sweet, cute, innocent, pure, angel incarnate. And I was like, oh my God, she's got the color scheme. Her name was Lily. I love the name Lily. She's like a little flower. The whole bit was <laughs> like. That's my, my favorite dog's name is Lily. And that's what my my uh, website thing is named Lily's Golden Doodle Puppies. 
stop and smell the roses. She's a Lovely. flower. The colors. She was going for like a grand or something. I'm like, yeah. And as soon as I would like go to like add to cart, like it's an Amazon wish list, I'm like, that. I don't want a dog. That's a responsibility. Oh like yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I forgot. He kept he kept like getting scared. He kept like I think we were looking and I forgot. We were looking for like a while and I would send him a bunch of ads and he would uh, be like, nah, he would like get scared and back out. He'd be like, no, no, no. I don't know if I sent him that one. I might have. I might have sent him that one. Or he saw it. One of the two, I can't remember. Well, he probably saw it and sent it to me. And then I was gonna like contact the breeder and then he chickened out, I think. I think that's what happened. Wow. Oh gosh, all these memories. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes I get these ideas. I remember it was kinda getting I was kinda getting frustrated because I was like helping him and trying to find him these puppies and then he would like get all excited and I'd get excited because he's getting excited and then he would back out. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, just get one, huh? <laughs> ...is in my head that are ridiculous, and then I regret them later on. I get very kind of pie in the sky. I'm like, wow, having a dog would be great. But then I think, like, in reality, I'm like, wait, no, Jesse, like, keep your independence. You will have to be the slave to this dog. And so I was just like, I kind of talked myself out of it. The dog was sold the next day. I cried. No, I was saying, oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> I was I, I was pretty distraught though. I was like punching the pillow. I was like telling Ashley, like, look, I was trying to get a dog and I f***ed up. The one, it was, Lily was the one that got away. I still swear by it. I wish you really? were Lily. <laughs> what? It was unfortunate, no, right? You, not, you should never uh... hesitate, guys. If you know you got the one, pull the trigger. I knew I had her. F***ed up. So, it didn't deter me. I was still, I was like, maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe I just it's shouldn't even get a be. dog and I was kind of put off for a bit. Maybe a week or so goes by and I'm like, Mason's looking extra cute one night. It's big and juicy and I'm like you know what I want one of them. Big, wait so what's big and juicy? I go cute one night it's big and oh, juicy and I'm like you know what I want one of them. So I go back onto the website. I'm like I'm, I'm looking at puppies I'm not even interested in. I'm just like imagining <laughs> life with the puppy. I'm like I remember wow. I remember um, I would send him um, pictures or some ads <laughs> and he would like bash them and be like oh that was ugly oh no oh no and and I would be like oh you probably don't like this one but here's this one that has the colors you like and he'd be like Ugh, I know that's ugly <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I'm looking at breeds I would never like a pug I'm like wow that pug's adorable look at the eyes on that thing I don't even like pugs I think they're hideous but like in that moment I was like I'll take a pug like I'll take uh, any that's when I find her Jenny her name was Jennifer that's right, on the mm -hmm. listing her name was Jennifer yep. Jenny. I didn't yep. even have to make it up. And I saw her, she didn't have the brown color scheme, she didn't have brown in her hair. Oh, she had sh in her hair later on. But she had the white and black Shit and I liked her. how it looked on her face and she had these little dots and everything and I'm like, oh, she's a yeah, we're talking about but you more too. than not, you could look in her eyes and you're like, oh, that is the sweetest, most innocent dog ever. <laughs> it's like a little kid when the grandma's like, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> Tell them how I got you, how I stole you from that lady. <laughs> oh yeah! So, oh so my god, I forgot about that. I think that. she's going for like I a mean, grand. I, I forgot that. I forgot that he. I mean, I knew that he. He asked more for her. Obviously, I forgot the reason why. It was because there was another person that was about to get her, and then he, you know, was like, "Well, I'll give you more," and. And that's what happened. I'm like, all right, this is like, this is Lily too. And I, I felt the icy tinge of regret after I didn't buy Lily. So I'm like, I have to buy Jenny. But I get to that point of pulling the trigger and I out. I'm you like, did? nah, I don't think freedom, I remember that. freedom over doggo. No, I'm like caving in right now. Not happening. I'm going to stay oh, doing yeah. my YouTube thing. If I get a dog, I'm not going to be able to make YouTube videos. My life's going to be mm, maybe, all about. Maybe I do remember. Oh, it's been so much back and forth. With him, I don't remember exactly. I guess, yeah, I guess he did back out. I think we were talking about her for a while, and then, and then he backed out. I think. I don't know. This. I so I didn't buy her, and she got sold. I'm not even kidding. She literally sold to somebody else. And oh my God, was I pissed? I was like, not again. Well, like, why did the she? The second time this happened, I'm like, how? I made two of the same mistake. I started freaking out. I'm like, I'm a scumbag. I'm done. Aww. I'm done. And I was like, I'm never going to have a dog again unless it's Jenny. And I declared that moment. I'm like, I will get this dog. So all of a sudden, I don't know what the f 
crack I was smoking. I literally called the number that's listed for the dog and I said, hey, is Jennifer still available? In this point Never. in time, I already had it in my mind. I'm like, oh my God, we're at the two year anniversary of MVP. Yeah. Isaac, the, the song from the Killers, Jenny was a friend of mine. Jenny could be Isaac's dog. I can send her through the mirror. My brain had already concocted all these stories and I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect. And this is her name, it's meant to be. All kinds of universe crap. So I told him, I was like, I didn't tell him all that, but I was like, yo, uh, is she available? He was like, no, uh, she, sold, like, she sold yesterday or something. I was like, okay. Can I have her? <laughs> He's like, no. What? So, uh, you said we that? We have other cabochons. We have this ugly <laughs> boy named Thomas. I was like, no, I want Jenny. <laughs> He's like, well, I, I didn't know, you know that. Sorry, sorry to say, but you know, uh, she's already sold, and she'll be gone to the owner in like a couple days. They'll be coming to pick her up. I was like, I'll give you how much? How much was she? So he was like, a thousand. I was like, I'll double that right now. Two thousand dollars. He was like, look, I can't do that. Like, she already bought it. She's very excited to have this dog. It's like I can't just. I was like, I will give you three thousand dollars, sir. Good sir, I will triple the price of that dog. I will PayPal you right this very second if you don't believe me it was silence on the other end actually i have to fix what he said i think originally she was 2000 and uh he doubled the price and he actually paid 4000 <laughs> yeah kind of crazy but yeah in the line he says yeah we can make that happen i'm gonna call it the, the new <laughs> Uh, right money away. talks. Anyone said right away, sir. Money He's talks. Like, I'm going to call the other owner and let her know that she's no longer available. Thank you for your business. Yep, you can send it to this email address. And uh, yeah, that's what he said. A couple days. Thank you. Bye. And just like that, he said it like that. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, I was kind of in the in the mix because I was communicating with him too. Um, I don't think he said it like that. I think I think he was the breeder was like he wasn't so like okay okay. okay. Maybe with him he was, but with me, because he did call him, but with me, he was telling me, like, oh, I'm going to talk to her and offer my other puppy, you know, and give her a discount. I think he gave her, like, a discount, um, and hopefully that will work. I mean, maybe he said that with me, because, I don't know, I'm a girl, and he didn't, you know, want to put me off or something, but, I mean, he might have said that to Jesse. I don't know. Jesse didn't tell me that he said that, but, um, but yeah, so... Apparently, the breeder got back with me and said, yeah, she's fine. She'll, so I guess something come up anyway, and she wasn't going to be able to pay for her, and even with the discounted price, like, she wasn't going to be able to get her anyway. So it all worked out. I mean, all I know is money talks. So. Imagine he, like, calls the woman up, and I think it was this elderly woman, too, so I completely just jacked Jenny away from this elderly woman, and, uh, uh it's probably like, hey, uh, Jenny's not around. She's like, What? I love that. I'm like, yo, I dropped three grand. I, that's right, guys. Four, so four. The crazy piece of this is if you want something bad enough, you got to pay the price. And it might not always be money. Sometimes you just got to work really hard, sacrifice a lot. In this situation, it was like I had to literally buy three dogs worth just to get this one dog. So she better four be extra dogs. special. And she is. So I locked her down and I felt pretty good, but then obviously there was that part of me that was like, what have I just done? <laughs> <laughs> How was I gonna get to Ohio in a short period of time? Um, oh, yeah, so that's when I enlisted, longtime fan and friend, Brandy. Uh, you guys have seen her in previous videos. She was, actually he enlisted is me, he enlisted me a long time ago. I guess he's just saying at that breeder, time and she really she be the driver. tells a lot of like golden doodles which are another non-shed bred uh, breed and i asked her i was like hey would you be able to go pick up jenny my dog and look after her till uh, i can come meet you and we can pick her up and that's exactly what happened now i actually didn't tell ashley that i stole jenny from this elderly woman that i bought a dog so i wanted to surprise her remember that she had just lost her smaller dog bailey so i thought oh maybe this would be a cute surprise so i just told ashley i was like hey uh let's go on a cute little date some random park like four hours away called Tenley Park. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna vlog it just for personal reasons. So that brings us to the moment, the very special moment in Tenley Park, where I surprised Ashley with yes. Jenny. And it was our first time meeting in real life. <sighs> it's actually one of my personal videos, Ashley. Personal These are just videos. for memory. Oh, I have a lot of comments on, on, on this part. Well, first off, I, I have a whole vlog and I say all this in my video, but I remember we were trying to figure, and I hope, I don't know if he's gonna, he's not gonna say any of this stuff, but like, I remember we were trying to figure out a park that was like halfway, like between me and him, and we found this park, 
you know, and we didn't, and I, you know, he had offered to pay for a hotel for me to come to New Jersey, or, um, yeah, New Jersey, um, since I was going to bring the dog and everything, but I just thought, like, no, you know, like, since it's COVID, I'm sure you're busy, and I'm kind of busy, like, let's just, like, meet up halfway. I'm sure that's what you, he would rather do. So, yeah, he liked the idea better. So, we uh, met at this park, and I didn't know what this park was. I thought it would be a nice park. In my opinion, I thought it was kind of a crappy park. Uh, I think he thought it was okay, but I don't know. He's a guy. <laughs> but I was, because I think he was telling Ashley that he was taking her, because it was 4th of July, he was taking her for uh, Fourth of July, and they were gonna watch like fireworks. He might say all this in the video, I don't know, but he's gonna watch fireworks with her and have this special thing for her. And like, I would assume that if you're gonna like take your girlfriend to this really nice park all the way in a different state, it better be a nice park. But this park was, well, I see, like a little shady. Um, it's kind of a little uh, park and a you know, kind of a rednecky part of town um but no i mean anyways let's just continue the video because that's this part <laughs> yeah. just for memories it'll go in the it'll go in the bts oh. vault <laughs> with all the story fire stuff sometimes it's important so it's not, it won't be personal forever i probably i don't know <laughs> sometimes it's important yeah, right. to have a personal moment right mm -hmm. to have some time to unwind yeah, and stop uh, all the crazy. I, I just want to know. I want to know. And I don't think like I ever got a chance to talk to Ashley about this. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, she has the prettiest smile. Her teeth look absolutely perfect there. Anyways. <laughs> um, I wonder what she thought when he said, let's go to this park all the way over here. Like, I, I just wonder, like, didn't she think like that was weird? I mean, I guess he said he had this whole thing. But... I don't know. Yes. I, just wonder, I just want to know what she was thinking. Like, when, she, when they arrived, what was she thinking? I want to know. Like, this is where you're taking me? Like, I want to know. It's been two <laughs> years since my virtual escape. Oh, my God. Is that Brandy? That's not just Brandy. No, that's me. It's Jenny, man. Oh, uh, I actually don't look that bad there. Wow. I, that's when I was, like, at my best weight. And, um, unfortunately, I gained lots of weight back. I look pretty good there. I like my hair color. Wow. Outfit's kind of cool. I mean, this shirt's a little tight, but, hey. I look really pretty good. And that's my niece, Bur uh, Carissa. That's my niece. She's, um, 17 now. But, uh, she's been in some of my videos. She knows Jesse's videos. Um, and, uh, she's a fan of him. And, uh, yeah. So, that was her first time meeting him, obviously. Oh, stop. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Sit her down. Jenny! Uh, oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Uh. This is my niece Carissa. Hey, this is Jessie. Oh She's so god. little. Oh, no, she is oh wait, wait, she's crying. She's crying. Oh, oh. 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 It was nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth! Oh wow, wow, yeah, I look, I look pretty good. I mean, you might not think I look good. You know, I think I look fat, you guys. But uh, uh, for me, I think I'm used to seeing myself really fat, and I'm actually surprised that. Oh, she's peeing. Look, that's hey, girl. <laughs> look at you! Oh, yeah, you're so little. Oh, she, yeah. Oh, God, that's right, she's so little. <laughs> she's so little. I was looking up videos of cabochons at eight weeks old, and they looked bigger, but um, they, I mean, the parents are registered, so. Aww. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's my new puppy, babe. I don't want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my dog. She's so cute. <laughs> so when did you get her? When did when did we get her? Or Brand, when did you get her? Yeah, Brandon and I have been doing some dealings on the side here. Right, so. yeah. She's yeah. like, what? It, a, it got to be a bidding war of some sorts. Right, uh, yeah. yeah, it was kind of crazy. It was like after you left, it was like a week ago, and I was like, shoot, I want this dog. And then I yeah. went to, uh, I asked Brandy, what? like, what the status was, and she was taken. I was at that point. And then I told Brandy, I was like, yo, can you, like, talk to the guy and see if we can get a deal? I was like, I'll pay extra. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Extra, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I was like, yes. I paid like a premium, but they, the guy. Oh, I just say, me, say. Uh, that was that's the same clip I have as when we were talking about it. So I guess, I guess we did say, but I know it was four thousand. Good girl. However, and then Brandy's just been watching for the last few days, yeah, sending me we updates. Yeah, we didn't meet like the day after I got her. I was like, I'm her for like uh. a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a little cow. Oh, she's 
pooping. She pooping. That is a good girl. <laughs> Her first poop I've seen. Wow. She's so little. I know. I'm like in shock. I because like the I videos know. don't do it justice. I know, I know. When I saw her, I was like, dang. What? Little. And you know what? The best puppy. And I still. I, I breathe. Uh, I just keep like talking. And they're like, oh, sorry, Brady. I'm trying to enjoy this. Puppy. She's actually like one of the best puppies. Really? Like, she's so good. Oh, you guys still got poop She's hanging out of your butt. <laughs> That's my girl. Poor Ashley. Oh. Ashley genuinely had no effing idea. No. <laughs> I was like, who is this walking <laughs> up? Yeah. Ah, She's like, who is this walking up? That's so funny. Oh, like how you made the connect, you're like, wait, that's Brandy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck would she be here? Wait, what the? Uh, to just plop the puppy on her stomach. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Plop it down. Yeah. But then she saw, I was like, dang it. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was like, there's no way you guys could get super she close without Ashley being like, what is going yeah. on? No. Oh. She's still pooping. Wiping on the white sheet. It's fine. Yeah, Mason, how big was Mason? Uh, he was like double twice the size. it. Really? This is gonna be such a small cabochon. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Well, how old is she? It's like seven weeks, eight weeks, or something. So I got him when he was eight weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I got him when he was like eight weeks. I think. I think honestly, like Ashley, like like with the whole way that like he got her without kind of telling her. I think she was kind of like iffy. I think she felt like iffy on the whole situation, like like almost like because because. Jenny is like really, really, really small um, for Cavachon, and I think she has more of the cavalier part in her. I think maybe because she's smaller, like she's not as wide, I guess, as a Bashan. But um, but I think maybe Ashley was just like, "Are you sure you got like a good dog? Like, I don't know, got it from Brandy? I don't know. Are you sure? <laughs> like, I mean, I don't think anything's got anything against me, but I mean, I just think like she, she probably was just like. I don't know. I, I just, I just sensed that she was like kind of concerned that, you know, I guess. Just, and then the, seeing the puppy not getting the poop out all the way or something maybe like concerned her a little. I don't know. I just, I just kind of felt like there was some concern uh, at the beginning, which you know she has every right to to think that. I mean, just a puppy came all of a sudden, and you know, and she has a lot of experience with cavachons and, um, and having dogs herself, just like Jesse does. So I don't know. I don't know. I just, that's what I sensed. Double the size. Mm -hmm. Dang. Oh my She's god. Still pooping. She's still mid poop while frolicking. <laughs> oh my god, ew. I'm gonna didn't... wipe it on the grass. <laughs> Did you get it out? <laughs> no. no. Like a, I think it was probably stuck to her hair. <laughs> <laughs> she still has it. I think she's like done, but it's just stuck there. Yeah. Oh, wait, I have napkins in that. Bottom. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go grab that. Yeah, good girl. Get to wipe my baby's <laughs> for the first time. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like I'm like the uh, resident mother of like Luna, John, Ella over the years. Finally time, uh, finally time Jesse gets his own doge. Yep. It's long overdue. I'm going to, I'm going to leave this camera. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this footage ever, but, um, oh, there's another dog randomly, yeah. but this is a real. I thought, um, that like he would never release it. Uh, especially recently, I thought maybe he would release this footage because the season finale is over, but, um, I thought there would be another, it's not a series finale, it was a season finale. So I thought there might be more seasons, and so there might be, um, but he might not release this or anything. And then I was thinking like, oh, cause I've asked him a few times like, when can I release my footage? And he like kind of wanted me to wait and you know, and I respected that obviously, but I was like, I've been sitting on the footage for two years now, my own footage. And um, I have it like uploaded and everything is just unlisted. And, but he finally gave me the okay to go ahead and release mine. So I'll be releasing mine, um, probably tomorrow. Well, the day after you see this, which I don't know what day that will be. But, um, but I, yeah, I'll be releasing that, so that's exciting. But it's really cool that he, uh, released this now. Real, real moment. Yeah, right? Sketch coming down here is like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, see, perfect, uh, sketchy. Like money. Guys, uh, we'll, we'll see you. We'll see you again. I Brandy's here. Hi. Oh, she's got Rona. She's got the Rona. I have Rona. Oh, my God. Jenny. Aww. 
Jenny, we're home. <gasps> hey, little angel. Oh, <gasps> so sweet. Good morning. It's time to go see your home. You ready to get up? Time to see your forever Wait, what? Where did it, oh, are they sleeping in the car? Is that, wait, what? Um. <laughs> wait, where are they? Jenny. Good. That's sweet, though. Jesus. She was like, she, she's like the most snuggly puppy. Like, she just always wanted to be. When I had her for those couple days, all she wanted to do was like be held and snuggled and nap with you. And she's just so sweet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Jenny. She's a good girl. Love each other to death. And don't forget, keep it rigid. The way that like she looks up at him is so sweet. I mean that that when a dog looks at you like that, that really means they trust you, um, and they look to you for like everything. So I love the relationship they have between each other, and um, I just am so. <sighs> it was like one of the best experiences I've had in 2020 for me. Um, it, 2020 was obviously really hard, and uh, especially at the beginning of the year for me. So. Being able to do this with for Jesse and with Jesse, kind of, you know, that that really made my 2020 better. I'm so lucky that he asked me. It was so awesome. It was so fun. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys like that reaction video. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting my vlog. Um, it's a lot longer than this because I I've recorded pretty much the whole entire time I had Jenny and um, go, you know going and seeing her and stuff. So if you're interested in that, uh, check out my video. I'm gonna post soon. And um, I don't know when I'm going to be making another reaction video. Pretty much just post whenever I find a good video I want to react to. And it's usually when Jesse uploads something. Um, but as you guys know, I don't have a Twitter anymore. I kind of decided to delete that because um, I just want, like, a little break from social media. Because I work on social media, too, with my breeding uh, business. So I needed, like, some break from some social media. So I decided, oh, let me get away from Twitter because that's kind of a time suck. Not like TikTok's bad too, but I don't know. I just kind of want to get away from one of them. <laughs> so anyways, I don't have a Twitter, um, but yeah. But if you do want to see puppy videos, and if you want to see more reactions when I do do them, which isn't often, you can go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I do montages still, not very often, but I still do. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!